So folks, you're now joining us on the Agrifac stand at Agritechnica 2025, which has got lots of new developments to uh, share with us. And to do that, I'm now joined by UK sales manager, Mr. Chris Potter. So first of all, Chris, thank you very much for oh, having us. Thanks uh, for coming by. You've got various machines all around us, dotted about the stand here. Um, we'll get stuck in, we'll have a walk around. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, where do you want to start? I mean, what are your key updates? We'll kick uh, off with this one. Yeah, so we've got some exciting new updates, really. So we're looking at basically the first one here is the Vanguard 55. Right. So uh, the machine that stood behind us, so five and a half thousand litres, yeah. um, hence the 55 name. Um, currently, this one's fitted with a 39 metre airflow boom. So currently, none of those in the UK, which we're working hard on. Right. Um, but the whole idea of that is drift reduction yeah. and application into the into the crop. Right. But so your your, air fl your airflow boom in this case, airflow plus. How yep. does that work? What's what's happening on the boom? So the model shows us behind it, but basically yeah. what we've got here is 25 centimetre nozzle spacing. Right. Um, and what it does is run it 30 centimetres above the crop. Yeah. And what it will do then is as that at, th at 30 centimetres above the crop nozzle will then distribute the, the chemical yeah, yeah and the air will meet at that point and then blow it into the crop all oh, right so it's getting forced so into it's, the crop it's a, it's a, yeah drift reduction is, is yeah. the key thing with it but then also crop application right so you can adjust the fan speed so whether that be from 10 percent up to 100 percent, which yeah. is capable of up to 60 kilometers an hour wind so it will create you a, a a wall of wind basically yeah. to counteract wind right so fighting wind with wind correct that's the tagline <laughs> you've got it <laughs> So yeah, it's something that we do a lot in Europe. Yeah. Um, and then you can also tilt the boom on it as well. So you can right. tilt the boom and blow it forward yeah. and backwards. So really get into that canopy. Everything everything Agrifac and Agrifac want to do um, is all about technology. Yeah. It's all about getting the right kit for the right people and really getting down, nailing down to that actual application. There's a lot of machines on the market. Yeah, yeah. But so actually, what a lot we want to do. A lot of competition in your line of business. What we, <laughs> we, yeah, there is. But what we want to do is we want to get every drop it in the right spot yeah. i know it sounds a bit sort of corny but everything we want to do is to get it in let's just it maximize the potential weather's getting worse yeah. so let's let's try and take that out of the equation yeah. and maximizing the responsibility of the use of Definitely. chemicals yeah. yeah that's it so if we look at the machine um 5, liters yeah um this is a, a a new model for us um but it what it does is it gives us the platform behind the cab still Right. which is very much liked by a lot of people for yeah. versatility for storage um for access so it was very successful in some place isn't that's it, it. Yeah. yeah it's very successful when the condor 5 and was a big selling feature for us yeah um but then you combine it with the bits we're good at anyway which is the stabilo plus and oh, the j your, boom that's your famous so fix, the, the it? track width adjustment is standard on there um so it always has been with part of the agrifac agrifac um, products um underneath cummins engine right um, you've got a 212 horsepower, 288 horsepower option in, in the 55. Um, but then there's been other noticeable improvements, mainly on cabin controls element of it. Okay. So we're now on the Class X11 cab. Yeah. Um, so in there, we've got the Ecotronic 3 screen. So changes to that with our own joystick, personalized joystick. Um, and all the creature cab comforts that long, long hours operators require and they want. Um, the other benefits to the machine, you've obviously got wheels and tire equipment so we can fit a massive tire on it yeah because well, it's well, all six foot four look yeah, at the state so, of that yeah there you go you can get up to 2.2 .2 meters with it yeah um and the whole idea of that is to keep that footprint large yes massive footprint definitely um travel well but then you combine that with weight distribution of 50 50 clean water tanks move to the front under the front of the machine which then at all times all keeps right. your center of gravity low yeah but then also your weight distribution right right that's it. Um, so there's change as well to um, Bosch hydraulics, Bosch Rectroth hydraulics. Um, and then we've got the Green Flow Plus element in the back here. So we've been known for the Green Flow Plus, the cleanest system on the market. That will give us 12 to 15 litres of water remaining right. when your tank is yeah. empty. So washing out with a 700, 700 litre clean water tank is no problem at all. Yeah. So contractors, guys who are mixing crops a lot can really wash out quickly. Right. Um, centrifugal pump is standard, high pro centrifugal pump, 800 litres a minute. And then you've got the fast fill pump combined with that, 1200 litres a minute. So this is the Vanguard 55. Yep. Uh, does this, obviously, you've had your Vanguard out before because we, yeah, we've, yep. we've seen it out in the field. 
Yep. Does this replace any particular models, these newer updated versions, or how does it work? Uh, they're there to complement. So what we've done is, with, with moving over to the X11 cab, right. we basically kept, we needed a, 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 a machine around 5,000 litre. So the yeah. opportunity was there to go slightly bigger, so the five and a half. Then the actual opportunity, a lot of people want to go bigger as well. So we can fit a 6,700 litre tank on, right. which takes us to the Vanguard 67. Yeah. So that's the one that we'll move on to next. Um, but and then we've got the Endurance 80, which is the next machine on from the Endurance 2. Right. So that was an 8,000 litre machine. Yeah. So we feel we've got the complete range in there. Yeah. We haven't sold a 4,000 litre for a long time. So a lot of uh, all our customers are looking for yeah. efficiency. They're only going one way. They're only going one way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what the five and a half does give you is a compact machine. Yeah. So you've still got the best of it. You can still do your 72 inch track, your bed work, do it well, perform it excellently in there but then you've also can then go on to the you next. can get up to this one correct so yes. we're going to have a look at this one next yeah and this obviously this cab that we're passing here this is the new one from class is it it's the new x11 class cab yeah and the reason we put one in the floor is just to make it easy for everyone to get up but yeah basically have a seat in it later on but it it's it's got all the controls in the new ecotronic 3 um inside it yeah and that's um, all bespoke to that's all your stuff all our stuff fact. in there yeah um yeah and then yeah the seat Leather, nice leather seat will actually tilt a little bit for you as well so you can actually then increase your sort of operator comfort all right so you can really feel at home in it and do, yeah. do some long hours we've got machines doing 800 a thousand hours a year right up to nearly three thousand hours a year in the Joking. uk so, yeah you want to be comfy don't you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, reasonably fresh yeah, at the some, end of the day oh absolutely yeah yeah absolutely yeah and the style, um, styling looks like yeah, it's a bit they, of a and, as well. And to it? be fair, the product team have done a great job on it. Yeah. They've really got hold of it, and the quality's excellent. The styling's good. They just yeah. they look the part, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and they've really thought of everything. So I've got nothing to moan about. <laughs> That's good. They'll uh, be pleased. Just on the, on the top of this one, on this yep. cab here, these, what are they, these sensors, cameras? Um, so basically, it's something that we're looking at. It says new. Um, we're uh, working with a company called Mojo. Right. Um, on the road to autonomy, basically. So that is cameras um, mm. for not having an operator. Really? It's not something that is there now. It's yeah. something we're working closely with them on. You're looking at it. Um, yeah, so it's everything's become automatic, right? Yeah. From right from auto regulation. You've got auto steer, you've got auto boom height. Yeah. You've got auto steer and everything on there, so why not? The next step is... That is the next step. Yeah. Yeah, it's something that we're working with them on. Um, and we've had some trial work done with it. So, right. Yeah, it's obviously a lot different when you've got a boom out the back compared to a tractor. Well, that's it. Um, it's, a, it's a big complex machine, isn't it? Yeah. And you think it would almost not lend itself to autonomy, but I suppose everything can really everything at some can. stage. Yeah, if you've got the space, everything yeah. can. Yeah, everything can. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Right, so we're on to, I suppose this is your mid model effectively, is it? Or? Yeah, this is the one in the middle. Yeah. yeah, this is the one in the middle. So the Vanguard 67. Um, very similar to what we see with the 55. Yeah. We don't have the platform behind the tank, uh, behind the cab, because yeah. it just moves that tank forward. Um, engine also has an option of a 345 horsepower coming right. under there. Yeah. Um, and this one is also fitted with our Mountain Master chassis. All right. So it allows for the machine to level itself onto a slope of 20%, or up to 20%. In what sort of direction? Sideways? Sideways, front, front back, back, always. Oh, always. Always, hence why we've got it on the stands here. So you've got them all on different oh, heights. Every single one? On a this one on the ground, yeah. and then you've got them all on different heights. So right. it keeps the machine level. Yeah. So it allows for optimum application. So it brings in land that you couldn't maybe spray before. Yeah. So you're, yeah. you're getting more productive? More productive, yeah. but also brings a clearance into it as well. Yeah. So you can see we can walk under it. Um, and it, it gives you a really good view of the Stabilo chassis and what we've really been known for for that is that that is for such a long time. This very, is the heart of your machine. It's isn't actually it? very simple when this you look at it. This is agrifac in a nutshell. It is, isn't yeah, it? It's actually very simple, um, very easy to get around, very easy to work on, very yeah. easy to maintain. Um, nearly 40 year old design. It's really? Yeah. It goes back that far. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's had a few tweaks since oh, then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We made them all a bit bigger. but it's, I'll tell you um, what, it's looking better than me for being top side of 40, isn't it? So. <laughs> um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to do this for a day. <laughs> um, but, yeah, what it, it just shows you the different things we've got. So yeah. every machine on the stand has got different technology on it. This one's got our um, high-tech air system on it, right. which is the twin fluid system. Okay. So the model behind it shows it on here. Um, 
So that's um, we've basically got uh, the quad body as normal, but yeah. then underneath you've got our high tech air nozzle. So when we say it's a twin fluid system, you've got the airline on the top here. Yeah, yeah. So the airflow, the air is in that in that airline, and then feeds in the back of the nozzle. Right. When the water is fed through, the air then mixes with it to create the droplet size. Yeah. From the cab, you can then change from a ultra fine droplet to an ultra coarse droplet. Yeah. So you're going around the edge of a field on a headland, you can have a coarser droplet, and in the middle, you can have a finer droplet. Yeah. If you've got a specific operation and an application you want to achieve a medium droplet for, you can. So you see on here, you can really see the droplets with the light going through it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the whole idea as well is it's fighting wind with wind, wind, with wind. Yeah, again. Because yeah. you can then, you can go to a coarse droplet if the wind picks up and open yeah. your spraying window up. But because you've got the air feeding in the back of it as well, yeah. it forces it down into the crop. All right, so, so it's you, doing a bit of the work of the, like the big curtain we saw before. And actually getting it down in yeah. and getting the penetration there. Yeah, so, and this air is fed kind of like a common rail, isn't it? Basically, yeah. It's got, one line. Is that the same line on the other side as well? Yeah. It's all out this right. Charge the line and you've got a compressor basically. Yeah, so you couldn't vary the airflow on this side compared to the airflow on that side. all be the same. So you, right. you can't have turn compensation or anything like that with, right. that's only available with the PWM. Got yeah. you. The strict spray. So effectively like with all the options you've got, you've got pros and cons to, well I'll say pros and cons to one, it's more like having the right one for the right. For the right job yeah. and that's where, I, where we really try and hit it. So we find the right technology yeah. for your biggest problem. If your biggest problem is wind, yeah. then we've got a solution. If your biggest problem is application, then we've got a solution of the PWM or overlap or yeah. everything like that. If you've got sensitive crops, etc. Et so we like to feel we've got everything. And all yeah. we do is spray it. Do you know what I was going to say? we don't do anything else. I was going to say that, actually, because you are just a spray manufacturer. Correct. Do you think that makes a massive difference to being able to really focus on a product. Hugely different. Yeah. Yeah, and it really gives that attention to our customers. So when they ring us, they know what they're getting in support wise, but they know that all our effort and all our factory team's effort on is going this. into what we see on the stand today. Yeah. They're not working on different products every day. Um, it allows us to give that focus and that sort of accuracy to the yeah. end user, which is downtime's key. Absolutely, yeah. And unfortunately, everything breaks, but it's how you put it back together. And exactly, get it back up to everything. Always a solution. That's it. Right, what have we got behind us? Uh, so the final one is the big one, the 8,000 litre. Right. Yeah, the big one that travels as light as the smaller ones. Right. Because you get the right wheel equipment on it again. Yeah. So you get nice, massive tall wheel on it. On yeah. the other side, we've got a 900 set of flotation tyres on it. Hmm. So. Weight distribution is key. So a pound well. per square inch on the ground, this will be pretty much yeah, the very same similar. as one of the smaller Yeah, exactly. Ones. Right. Yeah, so yes, the weight is heavier. Yeah. You get the right wheels on it, and away you go. Not a problem. Yeah, put um, some bigger boots on it. <laughs> that's it, put some bigger boots on it. It's yeah. what it's all about. So um, this one here, say endurance, 8,000 litre. Um, the filling pump's at the front on this one. Yeah. Um, and that is sort of ideal for efficiencies and output. Um, again, up to 1,500 litres a minute of fill speed. Um, the other major thing you'll see about this, yes, you've got the new class cab on it. Yes, the redesigns around the lovely styling on it that yeah. they've done a great job doing is the camera system. So the AIC plus camera system or IC plus camera system um, is spot spray. Okay. So not pack spray or anything like that, true spot true spraying. Spot spray, One yeah. metre cameras, because that will then pick up a lot clearer mm. image. Um, combined with our PWM system, it has to have the PWM system on it to work at 25 centimetre yep. spacing. That will then spray an area of 25 centimetre by 12 and a half centimetres. So right. it can go right down to that detail. That's proper, you know, on the grand scale of, a, of an estate or a big farm, yeah, that's some serious resolution yeah, really, it, isn't it? And, it? and the reason for spot spraying, it's not all about, it's not all about savings, it's maximising hmm. the potential in your crop. Yeah. Because a lot of the time it's saving, saving, savings, but actually sometimes the, the crop doesn't need the chemical application. Yeah. I say it sounds daft, but we 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 do advocate using less. Yeah. And just putting it in the right place. Yeah, yeah. So what we're all about, whether that be in the basics of what we do or Yeah. Or well, it comes back to this side. responsibility again, doesn't it? Oh hugely. Yeah. Yeah, hugely. Um, but and then with the camera side, just to sort of finish off on that one, the algorithms yeah. are there. So green on brown, green on green. Yeah. It's yeah. an ever evolving system. I bet it is. 
Um, and then we can also combine um, with variable rate application as well. Yeah. So we can also do a base application and then increased rates for certain spots. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we've got, yeah, say the green on green algorithms, whether that be maize, sugar beet, row crop work, rape seeds, um, they're working on, um, and then working on the cereal crops going forward. Some serious flexibility with it, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, and as I was, I was kind of discussing it before with a, another manufacturer, uh, with this, you know, the, the spot spraying technology, yep. it's, you, know, it's, you can see the benefits of it, it's absolutely huge. Yeah. But you never truly know how much chemical water mix you're going to need at yep. the beginning of the day. Yep. So how can you guys manage that or work with that? That, that, that is the tricky bit. Yeah. That is the, you're generally right in what you say there. That is the tricky side to it. Um, injection system would be the optimum. Yes. Because then the, you, you just go out with a pot you, of chemical and, and go. Yeah. Um, the other option we do to sort of, if, if that is a major concern, if, if people have got the ability to drone film it or anything, they can create a map and then that will tell you exactly how much you need. Yeah. Yes, it's not real time, so you get the delay in, but we're ready for that as well. We call it dynamic dose. Um, so then you can you can map it all mm. and then it will vary per nozzle the rate. So yeah, we're ready for everything, but I, I do agree with you that, yeah, it's, I, the developments are, are gonna have to get there towards yeah. controlling what chemical But like I say, you're non-stop. You're just all moving, the time. moving on, aren't you? Yeah, and, and like, just going back to your point, you, injection would be the, the way to solve it. Yeah. But it's getting the right injection system on there with recirculation and everything. And Agrifact very much like to do everything in house. Yeah. And that's where we can look after our customers the best. Yeah. So we're in control of it. I suppose so, if you start going down a pure injection route, you start losing the versatility of this yeah, machine and what it. else it can do. Yeah, it's, um, it, it, I imagine it will all come. I yeah, all come. there we go. Well, um, we'll watch this space. Chris, yeah. thank you very much for showing you. us around your stand and thank your, your, time. Uh, your key products. We're absolutely uh, spot on that. So yeah, once again, thank you very much. No, thank you.